We start here. Get up! Get in the collar then. Come on! All right, men, get in the harness. Let's do some power. Come on. Come on. Get together there. All right, Frank. Long ago, when these ancient Grecian temples were new, hemp was already old in the service of mankind. For thousands of years, even then, this plant had been grown for cordage and coarse cloth in China and elsewhere in the East. For centuries prior to about 1850, all the ships that sailed the western seas were rigged with hemp and rope and sails. For the sailor, no less than the hangman, hemp was indispensable. American hemp must meet the needs of our army and navy as well as of our industries. In 1942, patriotic farmers at the government's request planted 36,000 acres of seed hemp, an increase of several thousand percent. The goal for 1943 is 50,000 acres of seed hemp. In Kentucky, much of the seed hemp acreage is on river bottom land such as this, along the Kentucky River Gorge. Some of these fields are inaccessible except by boat. Thus, plans are afoot for a great expansion of the hemp industry as a part of the war program. This film is designed to tell farmers how to handle this ancient crop, now little known outside Kentucky and Wisconsin. This is hemp seed. Be careful how you use it. For to grow hemp legally, you must have a federal registration and tax stamp. This is provided for in your contract. Ask your AAA committee man or your county agent about it. Don't forget, Howdy neighbor, howdy neighbor, happy harvest, get your rocking chairs for all your cares are over, clap your hands and lick your chops, your bumper crops are on the climb, hey we're gonna roll in plenty, spend a five or ten or twenty, and those happy harvest bells are gonna chime, remember neighbor, when you work for mother I'll be full of taters and tobaccos And dozens of different good and healthy greens Do tell. And if the weatherman won't upset us Mister, you can bet us There'll be lots of crispy lettuce in your jeans Begin to live and find out just what
I got one of John Gall. All right, the blue with Gall. Sure, sorry now. This old world is filled with wonders, but to me there's no place more wonderful than a farm in springtime, when the sun is just lifting on the skyline. The air is so sweet, and everywhere you look, little miracles are happening. Buds swell into blossoms, eggs hatch, young are born. Everything's off to a fresh start, and life is good and busy and brand new. Around a barnyard, big families are a blessing. The more, the merrier. Root and grunt, push and shove, room for everybody. Beautifully done. I can't tell you how grateful I am to y'all. Now for one last favor. If the three ladies with collars would kindly walk out of the ring, I'd be very much obliged. The man who in his life had uttered fewer words than any of them knew exactly what to say. That'll do, Pig. That'll do. What you're looking for, it's easy to observe corn mating. Problem is that corn has a tendency to play with itself. So to get a hybrid, you've got to encourage conjugal visits. Of course, that's just what Milford Beagley was doing. Improvement of corn fit right into the white man's vision of manifest destiny. By the early 1930s, the evidence in favor of hybrid seed was becoming overwhelming. 
still farmers resisted, partly because agriculture, like the rest of the country, was in the grip of the Great Depression. But yet I had confidence that, uh, that hybrid seed was a wave of the future. You know how popular corn on the cob is, yet most people are amazed to learn that what they're really chewing is a mouthful of ripened ovaries. Corn are so alive, like people. Pick your teeth. Beagley's Hybrid satisfies. That's right, this is a toothpick dispenser. Let me see if we can make it work. Well, it's just like that. I know that my dad was interested in genetics and agriculture, and uh, that he was one of the pioneers in that field. Still don't think about it. Corn is corn. <laughs> I felt that the first I really got to know him as a person was when I was in my 40s. Would you say he was closer to corn than his family? Oh, definitely. That was his whole life. I think if Dad knew how to communicate, I think my mother would have been a heck of a lot happier. And so would the rest of us. You go back into the house after she's gone, and it's pretty lonesome. The human family needs to be in touch with nature so that they can carry on and have the good life that nature provides. Away from each dwelling, where school moms who govern with absolute way. You're wasting your time here. I'm not going to report this or anything you do to my crops, to the news or TV or anybody. You're not going to get famous. Bring her in. Bring her in. 
Good, 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 good,